In the last video, we looked at how truly easy it is to submit your project for the Hackaday Prize, but we didn't actually meet all of the requirements you're going to need to have uh, in order to make the first cutoff, which is on August 20th. The requirements that you need to add now are to post a system design, a two minute video, and four project logs. You can see here I have a piece of paper and I've just taken a marker and I've written out a very quick block diagram. And this is my system design. I have a microcontroller, the LED marquee, IR transceivers, and some optional stuff. I just wrote this out and took a picture of it with my smartphone and now I'm going to post it to my project. Here I have the self-ordering hat network and if we scroll down, you could add it to the sidebar here where all of the images are, but I'm actually going to add details. This is a great place to do a long form write up of what you've been working on. Uh, I actually have a little bit of text already written up that I'm going to add that just explains the block diagram. And then you'll notice on the editor window right over here, there's a little icon. If I click on that, it's going to allow me to update files and I have right here, the picture that I took on my smartphone and just cropped down. I'm going to open that up, and there it is inserted in my design. Uh, if I click Publish, now you can see it's already in my Details section, and I've completed that requirement. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you that it's super duper easy to film a video for the Hackaday Project submissions. I have set up here just a little area that I can kind of illustrate my ideas. I have a smartphone that is uh, rubber banded to a piece of wood that's just uh, clamped to an upside down crate. I push my other stuff out of the way. You can't see it in the frame of the uh, smartphone. And I've got all my supplies over here. Just basically going to push the cord and talk for a couple minutes. Mike Stish here. I wanted to show you my idea for an entry in the Hackaday Prize. So I started thinking about some super fans that we have. Um, here's a uh, Hoyas football and you know, they take their shirts off and uh, paint some numbers on their chests and uh, you know, really go and read for their team. But why do we have to be this crazy and can't we have this at uh, many other events? So is there a way to kind of, you know, class up this act? So I was thinking what's more classy than a top hat. That's pretty boss right there. So what if we had everybody with the top hat that had a letter as part of the team, but you know, you don't want to worry about standing in the right order or painting onto your nice top hat. So what we actually need to do is go ahead and add in some WS 2812B uh, LEDs around this top hat so that we have an LED matrix that goes all the way around and can have messages on it. And then we need to solve the problem of how do we know which hat for which letter? So I want to add these IR LED receivers uh, with an IR LED uh, pair on all four sides of the hat so that the hats are self-ordering. And so what we get is a master hat and all these hats are going to have these pairs of IR communications on all four sides of them. And it's going to be able to send out um, requests and it, what it gets back will tell it which hats are on which sides of it. And if there were several in a row, it would chain these along so you could figure out ordering that way. Um, the parts are, are pretty easy. Uh, we can use existing libraries if we use something like this Femtuduino, which is an Arduino clone. Um, and we can easily power this with a cell phone battery just like that. Uh, putting this together, um, because it does use existing libraries, the, um, the self-ordering library can be packaged and we can make it open source. That's it. The nice thing about recording on a smartphone is if you have the YouTube app installed, you can upload it directly. I am using my computer, however, to edit and you can see I've got YouTube open here. I put a title in and a little bit of description. A pro tip is to put a link back to your project page so if people are looking at your video and they can find uh, more information by going back to your project. And in order to meet the requirements, we do need to put the Hackaday Prize as a tag on this video. And so I've done that, I've saved it, this has been published, and there is a link right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this link. I need to go back to my project page and I'm going to add it as an external link. So at the top, I can click Edit Project. I can scroll down here to external links and for network, I'm going to select other, put a title here, first concept video, and I'm going to link the URL. And uh, I think I have to click add more. Yep, there we go. And now you've got a star here. And I, if I click publish, it's going to save that back to my project. 
and we'll see that come up in the sidebar right here, first concept video. Now there's one more thing I'd like to show you. You could also put this um, into details or into uh, your project logs or anywhere that you want. So if I go and edit my details, um, I can go down below the picture here and I actually wrote a little bit of uh, stuff to put in and go back and grab my link again. If I just paste the link in there and press enter, it renders that video right there. So when I publish this, anyone that's gonna go and look at my details page is gonna be able to watch the video directly from that details page right here, which is pretty nice. So that actually completes it. That's everything that you need in order to have your entry be officially considered uh, for the August 20th cutoff date. What are you waiting for? Go out and document your project and you can claim the Hackaday Prize.